In this problem, we have an infinite series, and the question is, does it converge absolutely, conditionally, or does it diverge? So I think this one should converge absolutely. So what that means is, if you take the absolute value of this, we should have a convergent sequence. So let's try it. So we'll take the absolute value of the sine of 4n, and this is all over 4 to the n. And we want to see if this new series converges. So if this converges, then we say the series converges absolutely. So to look at this series, what we'll do is we'll try to compare it with a convergent series. So I'm going to take this piece here, sine of 4n over 4 to the n. And we want to show that this is less than or equal to the terms of a convergent series. Well, sine is special, right? The absolute value of sine x is less than or equal to 1. So this is less than or equal to 1 over 4 to the n. Right? You can drop the absolute value on the bottom because it's already positive. And we know something about this, about this uh, sequence. If you add up its terms, we get a convergent series. So n, the infinite sum, as n runs from 1 to infinity, now watch this, I'm going to put an n here and then write it like this, converges by the geometric series test. I'll just say GST. So we took the absolute value of this because we're trying to show absolute convergence. We showed that this is less than or equal to, I guess, the terms of a convergent um, series. And this converges by the geometric series test since r is 1 fourth, which is less than 1. So therefore, this series converges by the direct comparison test. So thus, this series here will converge by the direct comparison test. So by the DS, DCT, direct comparison test. And so because this series converges, our original series converges absolutely. So the answer to the question is converges absolutely. A lot of terminology problem requires a lot of math. Again, the original question said, does it converge absolutely conditionally or diverges? We decided to try to show absolute convergence because we have a sine function. And I was thinking if we take the absolute value of sine, we know that's less than or equal to 1. So let's try that. It worked out. We were able to compare it to a convergent geometric series. So therefore, by the direct comparison test, this series converges. That means that our original series converges absolutely. I hope this video has...